workouts, and helpful advice. Add this video to your favorites. It will guide you when you train. Next exercise, jump jump plus high punch. Go. If you can't, do not jump. Do not curve your back during jumps. Keep your abs tight. Avoid violent impact with the floor during the descent. In order to do this, always land on your toes. Next exercise, jump jump plus leg rotation. Go. If you can't, do not jump. Do not curve your back during jumps. Keep your abs tight. Avoid violent impact with the floor during the descent. In order to do this, always land on your toes. Next exercise, jump jump with side kick. Go. If you can't, do not jump. Don't bend or curve your back. Keep your abs constantly tight. Avoid violent impact with the floor during the descent. In order to do this, always land on your toes. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, front lunges. Go. If you can't do it, try bending less the legs. Do not touch the ground with the knee of the back leg when you bring down the pelvis. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Do not bend or curve your back during the exercise. Keep your abdominals tight in order to be able to do this. Be sure not to exceed the tip of the foot with the knee of the front leg during the movement. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, full front lunges. Three, two, one. Go. Do not touch the ground with the knee of the back leg when you bring down the pelvis. Do not bend or curve your back during the exercise. Keep your abdominals constantly tight in order to be able to correctly perform the movement. Five, four, three, Two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Be sure not to exceed the tip of the foot with the knee of the front leg during the movement. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, front lunges plus squat. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try bending lesser legs during the lunges and do side steps instead of jumps. 
Don't exceed the tip of your foot with your knee during the lunges and squats. Don't touch the floor with the knee of the back leg during lunges. Keep your abs and butt constantly tight to stabilize the spine and prevent injuries. Don't bend or curve your back by keeping your abs constantly tight. Don't bend your head. Try staring at a fixed point in front of you. 5, 4, 3, 2, one, stop. Next exercise, side lunges. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try bending less the leg. Be sure not to bend your torso sideways. Your back should always be perfectly straight. Never exceed the tip of your foot with the knee to avoid damaging the joints. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Keep your abs constantly tight during the exercise to improve balance. Be sure not to bend the outstretched leg. For a better balance, try stretching your arms forward. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, side lunges with jump. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try doing side lunges without jumping. Be sure not to curve your back during the movement. Don't pass the line of your toes with your knees during the descent. Don't lift your heel during the lunge. Your foot must always be firmly on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, back cross lunges. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try bending less the leg in the descent phase. Don't place the knee of the back leg on the floor to avoid decreasing the effectiveness of the exercise. Don't exceed your toes with the front knee to avoid joint problems. Don't bend or curve your back. Keep your abs constantly tight. Keep your abs and butt constantly tight for a better balance. Don't lift your heel off the floor. Constantly keep your foot in position. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, standing hip abduction plus back cross lunges. Three, two, one, go. If you are unable to complete this motion, try simple back cross lunges. Don't place the knee of the back leg on the floor to avoid decreasing the effectiveness of the exercise. Don't lift your heel off the floor. 
Constantly keep your foot in position. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't bend or curve your back. Keep your abs constantly tight. Don't exceed your toes with the front knee to avoid joint problems. Constantly keep your abs and glutes tight. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, pulse standing hip abduction. Three, two, one, go. Keep your abs constantly tight during the exercise to improve balance. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't turn your head to not risk losing your balance. Stare at a fixed point in front of you. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, pulse standing hip extension. Three, two, one, go. Be sure not to curve or bend your back while doing the exercise. To facilitate the movement, don't rotate the pelvis so as not to diminish the effectiveness. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. To facilitate the movement, don't rotate the pelvis so as not to diminish the effectiveness. Don't bend the leg and foot. Keep them flat. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Water break. Three, two, one, go. Next exercise, donkey kicks triangle position. Go. If you can't do it, try doing donkey kicks on all fours. Be sure not to curve your back during the exercise. Don't bend or lift your head. Keep it constantly in line with the torso. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't force the upward push. Stop when you've reached the limit. Don't bend the leg or the foot. Keep them lying flat. 
perform the exercise slowly to maximize the effectiveness. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. Next exercise, pulsed leg lifting, triangle position. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try it without the pulsations and with smooth and wide movements. Keep the glutes constantly tight in order to avoid back problems. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Be sure not to curve your back during the exercise. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, donkey kicks plus leg curl on all fours. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try the donkey kicks with your legs bent at 90 degrees. Be sure not to curve your back during the movement. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't strain your neck. Try staring at a fixed point on the floor. Don't stretch out the foot, keep it constantly flexed. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, donkey kicks crossover. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try the donkey kicks without crossing your legs. Be sure not to curve your back during the movement. Don't put your knee on the ground when you take down the leg in order to keep a constant contraction. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go.
Don't turn your hips laterally. Your back must always be very straight. Perform the exercise slowly to maximize the effectiveness. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, donkey kicks plus hip abduction on all fours. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Be sure not to rotate the pelvis when you lift the leg to not strain your back. Don't put your knee on the ground when you take down the leg. Keep the contraction constant. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't bend or curve your back. Keep your torso parallel to the ground. Don't lift your head. Your neck should remain in line with your back. Try staring at a fixed point on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, hip abduction with leg extension. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, don't stretch out the leg. Be sure not to rotate the pelvis when you lift the leg to not strain your back. Don't put your knee on the ground when you take down the leg to increase the effectiveness of the exercise. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't bend or curve your back. Keep your torso parallel to the ground. Don't lift your head. Your neck should remain in line with your back. Try staring at a fixed point on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, plank with hip abduction. Three, two, one, go. 
If you can't do it, try bending your arms by bringing your elbows on the ground and rest the foot on the floor after the movement. Don't lift your butt. Your shoulders, hips, and feet should constantly be in line. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Be sure not to bend your neck. Your head must remain in line with your back. Try staring at a fixed point on the floor to help. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, high plank plus donkey kicks extended leg. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try doing a simple high plank. Don't stretch out the foot, keep it constantly flexed. Don't strain your neck by trying to look forward. Constantly stare at a fixed point on the floor. Constantly keep your abs and glutes tight. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Water break. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Never put your butt on the ground during descent in order to keep the contraction constant. Be sure not to raise your shoulder blades off the floor during the exercise. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, pulsed butt lifts. If you can't do it, try doing regular butt lifts. Don't excessively curve your back. Be sure not to raise your shoulder blades off the floor during the exercise. Keep your abs and butt constantly tight to improve the effectiveness of the exercise. Make sure to keep your feet constantly well placed on the floor. Five, 
five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, side plank. Three, two, one, go. If you can't, bend the leg at 90 degrees and rest your foot and knee on the ground. Do not lower or lift your pelvis. Head, shoulders, hips and feet should be aligned as if they were following an imaginary line. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Do not look at the floor. Stare at a fixed point in front of you. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, side plank hip lift. Three, two, one. Go. If you can't do it, rest your butt on the ground when you descend. Do not look at the floor. Stare at a fixed point in front of you. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Be sure not to lean the bust forward. The shoulders should be in line with your hips. Keep the abdomen constantly tight to stabilize the spine and avoid injuries. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, alternating leg raise. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try resting your heel on the floor before moving on to the next contraction. Be sure not to raise your lower back off the floor. Keep your abs constantly tight. Don't bring your legs down too fast. Control the movement to maximize its effects. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, reverse crunch. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try keeping your legs raised and perform only the rotation of the pelvis. Be sure not to bend your lower back when taking your feet towards the ground. Do this by keeping the abdomen tight. Control the movement to prevent back problems. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, controlled leg drop. Three, two, 
three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try the exercise using only one leg at a time. Be sure not to lift your lower back off the floor. Keep your abs constantly tight. The descent of the legs should be slow and controlled. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, crunch. Three, two, one, go. If you can't, outstretch your arms along the body and place the palms of your hands on the floor. Do not strain your neck when you lift your shoulders. You can help by staring at a fixed point on the ceiling during the movement. Be sure never to lift the lower back off the floor to avoid back problems. To be able to correctly do this, constantly maintain the abdominal muscles tight. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, twist on the ground. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try resting your lower back on the floor and keep only your shoulders raised. Be sure to only rotate your torso. It may help to stare at a point in front of you. Keep your abs constantly tight to avoid burdening the spine. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Water break. Three, two, one, go. Next exercise, lumbar spine stretching. Go. Be sure not to curve your back. Your lower back should be completely adherent to the ground. Five. Four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Stretch your arms out slowly to prevent joint problems. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, spine stretching. Go. Make sure not to lift the lower back during the entire exercise.
five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, stretching abductors. Go. Be sure not to lift your shoulders off the floor during the exercise. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't force the push. Stop when you've reached the limit. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Try out our full workout plans. More info in the description below.